Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the meeting of Thursday, May 9th, 2024 of the Historic Preservation and Architectural Review Board. We're going to start the meeting by saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Um, in terms of the minutes from the prior meeting of April 11th, 2024, do any of the Board members have any suggestions, additions, alterations, edits? Yeah. Okay, I'll take a motion to accept the minutes of April 11th, 2024. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's unanimous. So we're going to open a continued public hearing on 45 Denson Road, LLC, 45 Denson Road. Good evening. Um, last time I was here, it was concerned about oh, the sure there was a concern about the white, um, the white uh, collar and also the garage being at least that they had um, glass windows. And now we've got a community just not to do it. And so it does mm -hmm. get a little less intrusive. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. That was a this is better. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to ask for that. And tonight, the big garage um, recommendation was excellent because it's a really good, it blends in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do agree. It was okay. Yeah. Good. Much better. I like the plantings too. Was that it, guys? That we had to that was, yeah, that was look at two issues. If that's a, okay. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone want to comment from the board? Did anyone go down that street recently? I did not. I have a number of I mean, there's there are not many houses that look like this. Mm -hmm. There aren't. Right. Um, but I mean, I don't know that you can. Denied, and denied. Because of that. I mean, yeah. you know, things change, everything <clears throat> changes, nothing stays the same. Um, it's kind of I mean, it's of scale, and scale, yeah, color, things like yeah. that, right? Important. Style is style, would they? Well, you know how we are like sensitive to neighbors regarding privacy. Um, I think by placing something out of character like this in on a block that is basically all ranch homes. Um, it changes their sense of place and I think it's, it affects them. It, it is it sad, it is sad about what's happening and I understand how you feel, but this is what's, and, and honestly, I mean, I think about it in size mostly I, I don't feel it's this board's um, purview to say you can you not, you must build another ranch home or something a little bigger than wh whatever how whatever style you want to say I I just feel right. that uh, it's not that large we can't I large is we can't tell I don't think we can tell somebody that what you what you just explained I, I don't think that we cover that. I'm just curious to know the size of it. Um, and then I also want to say, what if somebody that lives in a ranch house today decides they want to put a second floor on tomorrow? Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yes. I don't know, you know. Most of the ranch houses are, are, are will be changed everywhere we go. Yes. Well, it, I don't probably, I don't, I don't always agree with that. And I wish we could uh, hang on to it and, and, uh, but people just don't want to live in a ranch house anymore. Um, I have that. Yeah, that's all. I'm sorry. Not that that, you know, it's no, just the way it is. It's on a corner, which, you know, you're always restricted, you know, on the corner. 
What it was. What it was. But also, it's on the you know middle line highway. It's a very. Is this a demolition too, or is this just um? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Demolition. yeah, demolition and replacement. Yeah, you know, it's on middle line on the highway. I should go with you. I did. I did. Does that demolition here? Well, here. Okay. Let me see. So I call him the wrong one. I think if you look at the code, just this is modern house, this is not my <laughs> vocabulary. But I think the code the code doesn't discourage modern architecture. It it kind of it talks to good architecture and good aesthetics and you know, um, and so clearly no one is building a ranch house these days. So no one's replicating that form. I think the real point is is the scale of this violate the sense of the neighborhood is it to your point bethany of like people wanting to build large houses so if it were three times the size and this right. comes up from time I mean, to time i i and we you say this is not appropriate it doesn't harmonize yeah, with we didn't discuss that. that i don't know was yeah. it uh was this presented last it was time yeah yeah and we That's didn't say that we no one said it they thought it was too big did they I, I don't recall. That, that would be a question to say, well, how big is it? Well, that's yeah, that's that what we're trying to find out. Yeah, so we'll do it. <laughs> the lot is 0. 0.78 of an acre. Oh, okay. So, so it's almost 442,506 40, square feet. Yeah. So, and plus it has to have two front yard setbacks. Mm -hmm. So um, it's 38.9 feet. I guess in the middle line. So this is a public hearing, right? And so we have to yes. Yeah. Is that a survey that you're looking at? Yes. It, it should say what the proposed square feet is. Yeah. yeah. She said four, right? It's a public hearing. If you step up to the plate, you got to be able to hear. I'm just saying. So it's on four. 0.478 acres, almost half an acre. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah, half I thought you said 1.7. I thought you said 1.72. Okay. Right. Yeah. 0.4. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's okay. I thought she said 0. 0.7. Mm -hmm. Anyway, no square footage. I, I don't see it. It's odd. Well, we know that it. Key. We wouldn't, be looking, we wouldn't be looking at this right now if it wasn't within. If it didn't, yes. Yeah, I was oh, just sure. I was just asking out of curiosity how, how big is this? Sorry, I have no, no idea. Well, also, um, we're having a public hearing. Does that mean it's more it's than over 3, three, right? Right, it's over right. three. So that's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right. I have a question about um, it's a five bedroom. is this a roof deck? On the very top with the uh, slats. I don't think I used to. This was last time I wasn't here. <laughs> it's black. Oh, no, I think she's talking about this. It doesn't well, look like roof. a rooftop to, to me. I think it looks really. like no, something. It's a, it's a two story. Um, I think. No, really. Don't you think it's. Deck. This is not a roof deck. Is that no, for equipment, you think? The, I, I think it's probably for the, the air conditioning stuff air conditioning or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why usually we don't have to have roofs because of snow. Right. I guess the technology's gotten such that you can. Okay. Okay. But yeah. I would. So, so the, the roof over the garage could be a roof deck. The flat roof over the garage could be. Well, they have they have plans, so I don't think you want to make that a. Can you get? Is there a doorway? There's no doorway. There's no no doorway. doorway. Are you sure? I don't think so. It does. Let's look at the bit. Look there. Yeah, you do. You have a window, and then you have this two really pretty piece here. Yeah. But I think that's like for the staircase. This the whole and the projects out from that wall, right, right. on both ends. 
seems. This is this is the door. I mean, oh, yeah, there, there is a deck. Well, by law, you ah. there is a deck. Okay. Because it's it's shown on the previous um, thing. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a glass. Oh. It's a one story well, high. It should show you in there, right? Well, the colors were changed. I can see. Colors were changed in the in the landscaping. And but they, they, but the building permit doesn't serve. See, oh, you get, how do you get out? Yeah, that that could be the last door, time we right, saw right, right. Or that. that. Oh, and that. you see the railing here? We said. Oh, okay. yeah. you see, this the is the wire. So there's no deck. It's not a deck, it's a roof. It's a roof. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a roof. So. Yeah. No okay. 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 So let's. I don't if know. it is a deck, I'm just going to say yes. hypothetically, and it's facing forward, the street front, not the rear yard, it would not really impose on people's privacy. Right. And that was our concern. Second floor decks. And those that would impose on privacy. Right. So this is kind of something we would generally permit. Um, and the revised um, regular night, I don't see a door. So, you know, I mean, no, doesn't look like it. That's, it. It's on the, what is the, the plan? The plan doesn't show. I think there's a door here. The plan. I think this is. But that's the old. No, that's the old staircase. But this is this is a different perspective. It's the same. It's the same design. It's even referenced here. If you look, it's just in the shade. Okay, it's shaded can, more. Can we see the plan? That would show you if there was a door, right? Right. The, these things are just the renderings. This isn't what we okay. We're gonna right up on the screen. Oh. Oh, thanks. We're gonna okay the. That's what's going to get okayed is the plans. So it is showing rooftop deck. It is now showing the rooftop deck. Yeah. That's a back but I don't see it. That's not a door. You think that's a window? But there's a match, staircase going on. Match up. the garage door? Well, or a door. Yeah. We're talking on, on the second level. Right. Oh, in, yeah. in the center of the building. No. That's a bank of windows. By, that must be the and then we go stair. back to the uh, drawing. Let's look at the, yeah, let's yeah, look look at at the, the drawing. Uh, the, the plans. The Not floor the, plans for the second floor. The actual floor plan. Okay, floor plan. Okay. 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 Where's the wrong side? Oh. Part two. Yeah, it's really, it's really big one, but I have my light flashing so I can see. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Okay, there's the garage yes. in the, the lower left. Yep. Uh, okay. So if you go to the second floor, O2, let's see. we'll get upstairs. Usually, a corner lot, you can put a bigger house. Basement floor plan. Okay, now we're in the basement. Third floor plan. Going back. Third floor plan. Okay. I'm doing my best. Okay. One more. Here we go. All right, there balcony. There's the, the door swing. Balcony, here. okay. Lots of bathroom. I'm oh, sorry. No, this is the back. Here's, here's where this we are, guys. This is the front. But that's not the, it's on the wrong side. <laughs> no, it's over the garage. This is your front entry right here. Right. This is okay. your front. I got you. I got you. So, so the plan there. says balcony. Right. It's back. So we need to. Right. We need to. Uh, but you, your feeling. My feeling is feeling that it, it's yeah. on the street side. Right. And not intruding into the private space, which is generally the backyard. Right. So I that I don't think that that's a, of a concern. It it's on, and it, it's on, on the second right. on the first. It's really on the on second the level. Yeah, it's not. There's but another. It's not on the roof. No, it's not on the roof another, at the top of there's the. There's right, another right. level above. Right. You right. want to look at it? No, I. Well, so there's, there's no. There's no railing. I take your word. Maybe you want to see that here, as a or are you good? That's not a railing. If you look at this elevation, there's no railing. Yeah. yeah. Well, this that's. Version. I think that renderings are always. Yeah, we can't look at renderings. Yeah. Could be lacking detail. They always make it as appealing as possible. Sure. Okay. So, um, well, the balcony really? would say that it's it's an access level, and that they have to meet the code in order to let people on there. Right. So yeah, I'm going to take their word for it. 
Yeah, it's glass. glass. There's what a glass. Like well, they took them off. It was on the previous, but now they're different. So it's like because I, if I recall correctly, I think there was some discussion about like, the balcony mm -hmm. and the fact that I wasn't you know, that it is a bit intrusive for the neighbor since it's a two-story house. Everything in the neighborhood is one story. Mm -hmm. So you have a two-story house with a two-story balcony looking down at everybody. Well, it's, re it's really only one story balcony because it's over the garage. Sorry. Thank right? you. Yeah. But if it's yeah, a balcony, it doesn't have to have I a real one. up high as anybody else in the house. Like well, that was the point that, that Megan was making is that the other houses are all stored. Okay. So you want to, uh, well, you want to hear from We should, from we that? should, do you have, <coughs> pardon me, do you have the landscaping plan available for us? I mean, there's a second floor window here on the back of the house anyway, right? So that's going to be looking down okay. as all second floor windows do. Is this, this doesn't show us any. No. Mm -hmm. I think it's to understand exactly what's happening. And we need a, uh, a different version of this. We need a landscape. So I don't think we can, if they don't have it, um, we can't move ahead anyway. Forward. We can we can ask for input. No, we can't even ask the public for comment. But if there's no if there's no landscape plan, we, we, can't, be looking at we can't move forward. And a clarification of what's happening with the balcony. Is it a balcony or is it a green area? Well, well the plans say balcony. They did. Then she should. Then they can't. Rendering. Rendering. I know, but Excuse we can't. Excuse me, hold it, hold it. But, but, a rendering is a rendering. A plan is a plan. It's been submitted part of the plan. Right, but the plan. It's a plan. The plan. Right. The, the yeah. only yeah. difference yeah. between the rendering that we've seen mm -hmm. is the treatment of the facade, the garage door. Oh, okay. Yes. Same That's all we've seen is a change. So, so yeah. if the plan is what we have, we have to assume that that hasn't changed. Only the rendering has changed. Can, while we're waiting for Carrie, can we go ahead and ask for public input? Yes, sure. Okay. So let's do that. Thank you. Does anyone from the public have any comments on this project uh, present? Or is there anybody remotely who would like to indicate uh, I, I guess, I don't know, Carrie's gone. If they've raised they're raised their hand. They're not raising their hands. They're not raising their hands? Okay. okay. Nobody's raising their hands. Okay. I'll raise. So my issue with this design is the fact that it is just not harmonious with the rest of the neighborhood. Um, be it, I mean, if the size is allowed, then I wish it would be a more traditional design because that's the way the neighborhood is. And in the code, it says that our board is charged with the duty of maintaining the desirable character of the village and of disapproving construction, reconstruction, or alteration of buildings that are designed without consideration of the harmonious relation to such buildings or structures that already exist and the environs in which they are set. So we can, um, based on style, materials, scale, form, rhythm, proportion, mass, line, color, detail. Um, so I think if you guys did a site visit and you walk down that street, then you might see where I'm coming from in that this house will be jarring for the rest of the neighborhood. <laughs> Can I respond to that? Sure, please do. I would say this house, you know, what is the neighborhood? It's also a middle line high ledge. You go down a little bit, just outside of the village, I believe on the same side of the street, is a much bigger, same style of architecture, but it's within the town of Southampton. So I would say the boundaries of the neighborhood, I would understand if it was further in on Dennis Street, but this is really kind of well, the in border. Between. It's in between. The border of the village is really that street. 
Yeah. And, yeah, so that's the thing. and so. that house that's on the corner of SAG and um, Middle Line yeah. is actually more traditional than this. In what sense? I mean, it's got a square tower. It's it got like a it's got tower. a pointed roof. It's got shing a shingled roof. Well, I'd like to put that picture into the record because I don't think it looks like a. I don't have a picture of it, well, I, I, I but we we can put it in the record. Yeah, because this I, mean, I, I, I believe this looks like Legos, uh, and the rest of the streets and that area is very traditional. And I feel that this house will have an impact on the people who already live in this neighborhood. I would say it's on a corner, and I see the neighborhood between the line highway, and that's we're good. we're concerned with the village of Sag Harbor, and this right. house resides within the village of Sag Harbor. You are. So this is my my perspective. But also, a ranch house is not really. Ranch houses different. are great, and I, I grew up in ranch house. So yeah, I know that. So, but they also, you know, there should be opportunities for you, innovation. In you are coming back, correct, for the next because you haven't. Do we have the? Landscape plan. landscape plan. You guys, you guys already approved. This is a modification, remember, because you approved the landscape the, plan. This is just a larger house. You already approved the landscape plan. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Do we have it for reference, though? Just to no, I guess yes. not. With, we don't. With included with the permit, I would have to go upstairs and get that. So I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. How, okay. Is there anybody who would like to make a comment again? Change their mind here or remotely? Okay, then um, <clears throat> I think, make, go ahead. I'll make a motion for- We have to close the public oh, I'm sorry, let's, I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll make a motion and again to um, uh, move 44 Denison Road, 45, I'm sorry, 45 Denison Road. To approve for the photo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait, don't we have to say something about the balcony uh, having a? We can write that on the, on the. Uh, if it's a, if it is a balcony, it has to have railings, correct? Right. Yes. All right. All right. That's that's a code requirement. But yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Um, is, are you? Is everybody comfortable, other than Megan, with with Bethany's motion? Didn't the plans also show the glass still on the garage? Well, that's a good point. Well, yeah, that's right. We have to. Um, well, we can put it. We can put it in to, approval. We can modify yes. it. Yeah, that's why. To yeah. we can just say oh, conform yes, with the rendering submitted. Do we have a submission date on this? No. Well, we can oh yes, it does. April April thirtieth. Again, guys, okay. it's the plan. All right, the, the uh, color change and the material change for the garage. Right. The facade changes, color and material, mm -hmm. as submitted um, April 24th, 2020. Four. April 30th, 2024. Okay. okay, do we accept the amended motion? All in favor? Well, we need a second, right? right. Second. Oh, I thought we second. I thought I, I seconded did. actually. Okay. Okay. Close the public hearing. I, we did we that. We did that already. Then I made a. I moved this. I moved uh, to. Um, I moved forty-five Denison Road. I need somebody to second it. Well, I, I amended it okay. to to be sure that the final construction and the plans conform with what was shown us and submitted to us the rendering as of April thirtieth, twenty twenty-four. Okay, so we have to, should we ask her to, Liz? Yes. Should we ask her to, to note that on the plan or no? I always recommend knowing on the plan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, plan. so that it's not confusing for the building department when they go over right. and inspect to make sure it complies okay. with your so it's, it's also yeah. on our condition of approval. Yes. So if you would do that on there. Paul. Note, dated, and initial it, please. Um, so while that's being done, actually, yeah, so we need to vote on it, right? Well, yeah, you you motioned, I've second, and I'm calling the vote. Okay. Okay. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. Aye. All opposed. Aye. Or nay. Okay. Or aye. 
What do I say? I'm a post. I'm a post. Okay. <laughs> no, nay. No, nay. 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 Or just bang your fist on the table. <laughs> um, okay. But we can annotate the approval the, over the written approval that just what, how, what the amendment was. Don't write down on there, buddy. That means you probably. You probably have, but I want you to move meeting me from. Do you mind just saying? Okay, so you want me to say that um, the approval is subject to. Okay, subject to the rendering submitted on April thirtieth, twenty twenty-four. And we do that. Yeah. Say that it's. Yeah. Based on this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The balcony railing. You want me to change? Okay. Thank you. We close the public hearing. Oh, and now we're going to open the public hearing for um, Grover J. Riverside LLC. It continues. It just continues. Okay. Sorry. Oh, um, but we closed it. Oh, we did close it. Yeah, so that's why we closed it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's. So we've done the consent agenda items. Let us move quickly to. No, you do have to do. Oh, well, we haven't done the consent. No, I'm sorry. Number two. Glover Street. 12 Glover. Glover Street. 12 Glover. Okay, 12 Glover is going to be continued. Yes. No, right, right now. Yes. No. He's here to speak on 12 Glover. Okay. Good evening. 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 Okay, so um, as you know, I was not here at the last um, hearing. Um, Tiffany Sparato presented the revised drawings for, for you folks. And um, I, she tells me, I think the, the one um, thing that came up was the um, Southeast Stormer. And in the, um, the version that we showed on um, the last hearing, uh, the last version had that dormer kind of broken up. And I think the, the general consensus was that it looked a little bit busy. Um, I believe it was Judith that suggested doing a hipped, um, a hipped dormer instead, um, which is what we have here, um, which we've changed that to. What I would like to do, though, is to propose something even simpler, having um, spent some time on this, just, just to do it as a plain shed. Um, you know, no hips, no recesses, nothing, just a plain flat shed with some additional, that's a little bit more fenestration in it than the very first version of that dormer, which I've showed, which I think just the fenestration, additional fenestration just helps Sorry. it break it up a little bit. So, um, I mean, it doesn't make one difference one or another with the floor plan or anything. So, you know, either version is okay with us, but I think my instincts are still the same. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Any comments or discussion from the yeah, HPARB. Um, I'm in agreement with the second version. I think it's very clean and simple. And it's best to fit. Yeah. Maybe we can get that up on the screen for um, our remote viewers. That is um, A4.1. Uh, I had a thought, which is maybe weird. I don't know. Um, but I was thinking on the new part that you've added out the back, you have put six over six windows. And it occurs to me that since it's new and it has a standing seam roof, which sets it apart as being new, that the six over sixes could be two over twos, which would signal that it's an addition mm -hmm. and it's more modern as most additions are. And that as time goes on, mm -hmm. people want fewer um, mullions and more light. Mm -hmm. And so possibly, this might be a question for Zach, mm -hmm. possibly to, um, especially on the other side, um, to also with the idea of making it simpler 
two over twos instead of six over six. You know, it's it's uh, you know it's actually something that we looked at as we're going through the design process. It's a little tricky with this house because I think as you know Zach and I kind of discussed when we were there. It sort of started off its history as sort of a, you know, a, there were three identical houses there that were, um, you know, probably 1840s houses that had six over six windows. Then this house, the middle house, kind of got this little kind of gothic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makeover mm -hmm. that has, you know, the, the arched two over two window in the front. Um, in the rear, there are two over two. In the rear version of this gable, there's also a two over two window, but without the arch in it. Okay. Um, and then a couple of the windows on the southeast on the second floor were changed to two over two, but then on the northeast facade, they just kept the six over six. So it, it's, it's a little bit of a mix and match there. My thought on this was to, the way to systematize this a bit was to do two over two, keep the, obviously keep the nice existing two over two window on the front. And the new facade in the back, do a two over two window on the second floor. Just keep the French doors just plain clear glass. Don't even worry about two over two or or modern pattern. And then just do everything else in six over six, um, just for the sake of consistency. So that you know that was kind of the rationale behind all that. Um, but I think to Judy's point that the new windows here that in, in your doorway, because they're considerably smaller in mm -hmm. overall size from the windows of the main part of the house. But getting them to a six over six makes those window panes very small. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I don't... And that reads as, as a little... Yeah, busy. yeah. No, I, I understand that. But I think one thing, I, I don't know if you can bring up the photograph of the existing rear facade. Um, there are actually already on the rear facade these sort of very small six over six windows. And you're repeating that. And sort of repeating those up here, you know, the same size window. Um, so that was, you know, once again, that was kind of the rash. Oh, okay. well, yeah. mm. I, I think the, I think the six over sixes are uh, almost fussy, um, but you know that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, this this uh, picture here. What what is that? Is that what's there now, or um, what's, oh, that's the other side of the house? Yeah. So this and, is the other other side of, of the, house. the original. And these are actually so this window is original six over six. six over these six. two up there, these little windows up up on top are actually original six over six windows. So oh, they're yeah. really not that much bigger than these windows. Yeah, I could I can't. Okay. This I little can't see little guy here okay. is uh, that's new, and that was. Right. driven by the desire of the, the, the next door neighbor um, working with her. And um, I, yeah, so. And also yeah, on the lower thing, you're removing a window, is that correct? Yeah, there's one window here that we're removing, but then that is a six over six window and kind of, I wouldn't say literally moving the window, but on that facade, there's another new I mean, six basically over six basically just about all the windows are six over six. Yeah. And I, I for one, like it that they're, you know, if it's six over six Consistent windows, type. six over six windows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is, this is, yeah, you know, this is a elevation perspective. Do you have, have you gone as far as to have the sizes of those six over sixes that we're talking about? Maybe if we knew the sizes. I, I do have them. Um, I don't have them here, but they are in the, um, in the package there on uh, sheet A1. We have a uh, window schedule. Um, that has those, so I don't. I don't have it to. Can you estimate them. what they are? Do you, do you have any memory? No, I them? mean the the little ones here are probably going to be about two, either two foot or two foot two by about maybe three foot six tall. Um, That's pretty cool. The bigger windows are not much smaller than the windows in this room. Three six. What would you estimate this window is? Eight feet. No, I'd say you know, probably about six feet, three foot. Right? So about half of the size of that window. That's not so busy. Hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Assume, assume this paint's about half the, well, one third the size of these paints. Mm -hmm. And they're on the upper story and toward the back. Mm -hmm. If they were down below, they might look small in proportion to the Definitely. Messing at the house, stay. but I think they six, six. Mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. as it did upstairs. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm convinced. All right. Good. Okay. Any other comments or observations? So the f um, the facade you're not touching at all. The the siding is going to remain. Yeah. Brackets everything. Front front facade uh, remains identical, with one exception, which Zach and I talked about, which are these porch posts, which we don't think were the original ones. Right. We're going to do some investigation because Zach said that they actually might be the original port. They might actually enhance the original right. porch right. posts. So if we can find some mm -hmm. evidence of what the original porch is post looks like, we'll duplicate them. If not, we'll probably just keep the same. But you are putting up new shingles on the roof? Uh, yeah, the, the new facade. roof will have to be re-shingled. And in fact, um, the insurance company, the homeowner's insurance company are actually insisting on it. So it's not, not even a, an option. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're using cedar shingles, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, it will be cedar shingles. Um, I mean, I think we all know that I'm not in favor of the addition, um, but I think uh, you have a right to do so if everyone else agrees, but um, I would rather not see an addition on this historic home. Very well noted. I have to ask, right? Anybody? We yeah. often no, wish we that people to, were not yeah. putting additions on. Yeah. <clears throat> but this one in particular, because of the way it's situated and when you approach it on Glover Street, the side is almost the front in certain angles. And that is why I am not um, willing to approve for me. I need to do. I think it's one of the key. This right? is a public hearing, right? Yeah. No. I think it is, yes. So, is there any comments from the public that's present here? Would like to comment on this? Would anybody online like to raise their hand to comment on this? Nobody is online. Nobody's online. Oh, just okay. Nobody's raising their hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference there, Kerry. <laughs> Um, okay, then I'm going to move to, uh, unless there's any discussion from the board, I'm going to move to close the, the uh, public hearing. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The public hearing is now closed. Uh, as approved, in, in, I will also enter a motion to approve the proposed changes as modified and presented today. The six over six window. The six over six. Mm -hmm. um, can I get a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? One opposed. Megan. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we'll jump. Yeah, we need to vote on it. Right. The next mm -hmm. is consent agenda. He just, he just made a motion to. To uh, close that. Okay, but you have to you have yeah. to sign this and you have to write your little notes. But oh, we have to say that it's a straight door, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Bethany is doing that. I'm going to open discussion on the consent agenda items. Uh, there are 17 in total. We will refrain from reading them. Thank goodness. <laughs> Is there any board member who'd like to comment on the consent agenda items? Yeah, we do. Yeah, you voted. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, Steve. No, that's okay. Do you have a motion and a second to approve all consent agenda items? I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Beth. We're Sorry. doing two things at once. You're multitasking. Um, they want me to say two, six, six. Okay, we're going to move to new business. And um, the representative of. Uh, and this is a public hearing, so you're going to open. Oh, this is a public Another hearing. Public oh, God. Hearing. Wow. Okay, so we're going to open the public hearing for new business. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. I'm calling 367 Division Street. 
<clears throat> Please identify yourself when you reach the podium. Hi, or um, the, yeah. Lucinda Coulson. Um, I'm one of the owners of my husband, Keith, that I'm in the street. Um, so we have a full time kids in the store as well. So, Give them presented presented. This is exactly what I don't want to do. Okay, so we are proposing building a five bedroom house. Um, the living space is just under oh, okay. and then there's a, a double garage attached to that. Um, our house on Division Street is off the flag lot. It's very private. Um, we've already done the landscape for which we're surrounded by evergreen, so it's very flowing and very warm. Um, so far, I haven't even seen four of the This is the place of the which is we have brought in there, but we've um, so it's um, as I said, it's a two story home with a basement. Um, we wanted to do um, the actual the shingle and with a roof. Um, we split some decks. Um, we're proposing putting our oh that's not oh that's the that's what's existing correct that's because yeah. one of them is that we've brought it in you know, we that's the view down our drive um it already has a pool that's part so it's a very long triangular quite quirky quite quirky sized um yeah when you look at and we'd also like to have a pool house because our pool is quite a distance from my pool house I mean from the house <laughs> um, we're hoping to keep it with a quite sensitive fact that it's surrounded by woods. We run right alongside the water authority, so on the right hand side of our property is there are no homes. Um, and then down the left side of our property, there are a couple of relatives in quite large houses that are backyard. Um, but we're also quite we talked about what the house to be studying, we were quite sensitive to it being so we're in the thing yeah. Isn't it? That's Yeah, they have it. You guys have this, right? Yeah. And we've got pictures for that. So, I'm going to talk about the materials you're using. So, we want to use the elastin sealer, yellow sealer, and all the My understanding is it fades to a nice spray, and it's super mm -hmm. natural. Mm -hmm. um, I think that has to be encouraged. Making it weather spray. So you'll make get good advice on that front, but you have to treat the shingle so otherwise it's going to be weather differently. Yeah, the other one is a yellow. So the product, so you, you know, you'll, you'll get advice on that front. So the plan is to have, so I can't even talk on the other side. We talk. The plan is to have three bedrooms on the bed, and we 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 have three bedrooms on the bed, I found the elevation. You found the elevation. I did not because I don't really have the Can we see it up here? Yeah, elevation. It's very easy. I can see so Yeah, this is 
It's a long road. Yes. Total living space make is uh, 4,978 square feet. The attached gr garage is 595. And the finished basement is uh, 2,441. There used to be a I think there was some front elevation there. It's not in the heard you. Yeah, thank you. I have a small one. I don't know if the rest of the eight board heard. The first floor living space is 2,748 square feet plus. Second floor living space is 2,229 plus. Total living space is 49. 78, so just under 5,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. The attached gar garage is just south of 600 square feet, 595. And the finished basement is another 2,441 square feet plus. So, um, yeah. The finished finish basement really doesn't get into the FAR. So we're really dealing with something that is about 5,500 square feet to round mm -hmm. things off. Liz, does, um, this isn't a historic structure. Does the 50-50 code come into this at all? No, because this is there. This is not a historic structure. Right. They're not adding on to it, right? Okay. So they're demolishing it and reconstructing a new structure. Right. Okay. So they just have to meet the GFA law under the code, um, and this is a forty thousand square foot lot. This was an idea. We would, yeah, under the architect was calculated off square footage allowance, and that's why we just we have to remove the spaces off the garage because that would have taken us over. So okay. it's forty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-eight square feet. Yeah. That's for the most part an acre. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. Um, and it's a flag lot, so it's yeah. very obscure. Yeah, I've actually mm -hmm. never been down that road because it's <laughs> like a driveway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a flag that goes outside of us, <laughs> and then we just go around. Yeah. It's the flag driveway seems to come off of division. Yes. Yeah. So, why is the address on? Not on division. It is, it it is, is division. It is okay. Division. All right. It's uh, six, six, seven. seven. Okay. It's right after that really big drop hill. Okay. Oh, division. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. The compound, basically. We like keeping it private. Right. That's why you chose to And, and do we ever get the A11 for the public to see and for? No, I, I don't have. You don't have to see. It. You don't have the drawings. Yeah. Well, didn't that? But, no, it's in here. I saw. I looked at it. I wanted to see the public to see. Okay. So you've given us some of the background. I see you. You've submitted some uh, some colors and this sort of thing. Is are these? representative of, of the entire facades of, of all of your structures to be? Yes. Okay. Yeah, to so they're all gonna be consistent. All consistent. They're all gonna be with the white cedar shingle? Or the, is it the white cedar? It's the last thing yellow. Okay, yellow, I'm sorry. Yeah. And do you know what the roof is? Thank you. Do you know what the roof is gonna look like? What, what, what are you playing there? It's a metal. The metal roof? Yeah, you don't know. See 
You're one of the few buildings that could put as many solar panels on your house as you like. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and chosen not to. That's interesting. Um, well, how about some solar panels? <laughs> we, we, we're going to we want to talk about doing that at a later date. Um, as I, my understanding was that wouldn't necessarily be included in this, but we do want to eventually move yeah. that yeah. forward. All right. So if that one's going to come back to the lead. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't been through your package entirely. Is your landscaping plan in here? We've already done that. Like the landscaping is in place already. I'm trying to change it. So you're not going to change that at all. No, and we always want to keep, like, I, I love, we have a look at the island as we come up, but we drive around and I just want to keep it. I kind of love what's already there, so I'm just trying to keep it the same. Is there a fence? It's just some shrubs that are actually around. Yeah, the house, they've so. got to have fences. With all this yeah. room, we'd love you to put a butterfly garden somewhere. I mean, these yeah. guys have that shrubs. On your property. Cool. Not that we're going to ever enjoy it, but it'll help the environment. <laughs> um, any comments? Um, I guess, obviously, I'm never in favor of a larger house. But I think your property is so enclosed and private that this is the kind of property where that is acceptable and appropriate. So I think yeah. you, I'll vote yes on this. Okay. Judith, any other comments? Uh, seems fine. The, uh, there's nobody to be seen from the, uh, the balcony on top of the garage. I'm assuming that you... No, you won't be, be peering down on any neighbors because they're not unless our neighbors on Division Street. Yeah, down a whole load of you know, trees. trees. There's no right. Space I don't trees. think they will be. <laughs> I'm good. Mm -hmm. I think it's a nice design. Mm -hmm. I realize the public. It's... Yes. Is anyone from the public who is present that would like to comment? Is anyone remotely? No. No one. Okay. Then I. I'll make the motion to close discussion and we'll approve the, the application. public hearing. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Please move for me. I'm going to make a motion for uh, 367 Division Street. I'll second. Move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Congratulations. Well. And who's going to present for um, 12 Union Street? Please come forward. Yeah. Do you want to change? That's it. Thank you. Okay, well, welcome and identify yourself, although you're well known here. I'm Amy yeah. Morris, straight from DC, representing the owner of Club Union Street. Um, I was here last year for the same property. Uh, the board approved a renovation addition to the premises, and now I'm back here this evening for a garage and pool house. Um, so the client is, applicant is proposing to move the existing pool that sits less than 40 feet from Jefferson to about 50 feet, so pushing it away from the street. And in between the pool and the road and a large holly hedge, proposing about a 600 square foot garage and a 200 square foot pool house. We are also reducing the pool side by about 200 square feet. So overall increased coverage to the premises is a little under 600 square feet. We are also adding an additional vegetation to what was approved from last year. Architect Mark Zimke is on Zoom. Carrie, is he sharing his screen now? Or um, sure. Oh, okay. He, he can, he can see you. Can he? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Mark is going to take you through the <laughs> design of the pool that we have. Sure. I uh, just need to be able to share. Okay, are you still before ZBA this phone? Um, it's, we're waiting for the determination to be right up, but the board voted to have him write up a determination. So it would be contingent. Yes, we had to go to the ZBA because this property has two front yards and no rear yard, but we are um, meeting the setback. So we just needed a variance because it is technically a front yard. 
chapters. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so to follow up on Katie's uh, introduction, the the proposed uh, adjustments to the site are this the proposed two car garage and a proposed pool house, uh, all all conforming to zoning code and a uh, a smaller pool shifted further away from Jefferson and more into the property itself. And we are referencing um, sort of language from the approved architecture of the existing, or, well, existing, the uh, unbuilt but approved uh, main house to sort of direct uh, the architectural language of um, the garage and pool house. And this is sort of the section cut along Jefferson Street um, and we so we have the uh, the garage on the left, the pool house sort of centered, and then the existing carport, which is which is meant to remain. Mm -hmm. just an open carport structure. Right. Cool. Um, and so that's that's effectively it. I mean, it's rather straightforward. Um, and and then the updated site plan, planting plan, um, involves uh, more planted out uh, property, more filled out property, and um, and the addition of, yeah, just more vegetation and tree plantings uh, on the closer to the Jefferson side of the property. Kind of trees. Um, so uh, we don't, I guess we don't have exactly the types yet. We just have ornamentals specified. Um, uh, we have holly trees on along the Jefferson Street side, but we have a couple ornamentals, um, which may very well be in the Magnolia kind of um, range to to match sort of some of the existing trees that are there. We have some existing cryptomeria, so I, it would be in that same story, um, ideally. Now, just to be clear, on on the Jefferson Street side, where you want to plant the row of hollies, uh, that's a sidewalk there. That's that, it's indicated hard for me to discern. So. There's no sidewalk, and those hollies are there already. The yeah, this is holly edge, which was approved at the last year's meeting. This, yeah, this is the existing view from Jefferson to uh, <coughs> cur currently. Could we see so the right view from Jefferson? Still... We're looking at the plan. Yeah, you want to bring up the photo? Mark? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was sharing that. <laughs> My bad. Mm -hmm. Sec. Um. <laughs> okay, we see it now. Thank you, Mark. So those are the hollies that are planted there now. Oh. They're very tall, and with the structures being cut back 35 feet from the property line, it would be quite difficult to see it, except for the angle from, I think, the driveway. So and I'm interested. There was an elevation of the proposed buildings. Yes. And could we see that because there was a fence gate? Sure. Detailed. Did you hear that, Marcus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, where are the hollies in in relation to? They're they're behind us in this. Um, so we're about thirty feet off Jefferson, looking at these facades. Well, the hollies are in front of these. Sorry. Yeah. I'm front. sorry. So, sorry, they're behind the cut of this. They're they're but they're in front of they're they they are in front of these structures along Jefferson. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So. They obscure the. Structures from <laughs> Jefferson Street. So how how do you get into the garage with a car? So that's uh you can see in the this is there we had there's a, that's a, all the way set in back driveway under right yeah there's a small motor court kind of off the end the curb cut um where that's accessed. I see. So that fence and the gate <laughs> is 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 <clears throat> aligns with the front of the garage. Yes. Yeah, it's 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 back here. So that is what you're you're looking at. Okay. <laughs> and you're, so what's happening where the existing motorcade is? The existing carport is we are not touching that. So the oh, existing that's on the street. Correct. And that's street. like a lattice with like trees growing on top. Like you're gonna leave that as it, is. Yeah, let me I can pull up a picture. Um, of that for you. In the open. Excuse oh, me. Yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah. 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 Yeah.
we are we're going to re-roof this to not be asphalt it'll it'll get cedar shingle roofs to match the other structures um which we believe helps to <laughs> make this a little better mm -hmm. um, and it says that on the plan correct yeah to re-roof um yeah um, what is the fence made out of? I, I saw it said PTD wood. Oh, was yeah, it? just it's painted wood. So that will match the the same um, white trim color that was approved for the main house and is also being proposed for uh, these structures as well. So okay. sorry. Yeah, so this is meant to sort of <laughs> represent a little bit the, the color scheme that um from the approved main house as well so it's all it's all uniform are those brick piers that are supporting that gate no it's that's just indicating indicating hedge oh that's hedge. Oh, hedge. Yes, yeah that's sorry <laughs> so at that, that scale it's hard to see yeah and the gates are four feet uh yeah Gates and fences. So there's so it looks like yeah, a difference there yeah. between the the garage and the um, pool house to the right of the garage. To the left of the garage seems like it's a higher gate than the fence line. They're 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 the same. They're both at four feet. Mm. It might just be the the hedge. The graphics of the hedge might be a little deceiving, but they're they're meant to be the same yeah. height. They're all four feet, okay. right? <laughs> so what is all the way to the right on the bottom? That's just the, the same thing. carport. Carport. Oh, okay. And that is actually set closer to the road. It's hard to show the depth. Right. The end, yeah. Okay. You, you can't get any depth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are, so on the garage, are those doors actually functional, and the cars go in there? Correct. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought the one you showed us that the there's actually driveway. It goes down the side and the car goes in the side. It's so what it is is um sorry. Uh basically cars come in and park this way in here or continue down the driveway that oh okay. driveway got it, got it through the gate. You can't see the depth in the plan. Right, the right. Yeah, it's, it's 30 feet, so it's a good good amount of depth uh there. So, um, is this house staying the same color that it was originally? The green no, house, it changed. No, it's no. changing. That's this house. Yeah. We approved the house a while ago, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We we did. No, I don't think you were either. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <clears throat> Oh, we are adding a lot of vegetation and green to Okay. And where on this would the pool be today? So where, where's the, the existing pool? Yeah. Um, it's kind of, it's basically here. Sorry, it's a little crude, but that's that's where it is today, roughly. Yeah, it's about 37 feet from the mm -hmm. property line. We're pushing it to about. Okay, so yeah. maybe maybe about here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're reducing it by 200 square feet, the size of the I like this direction better. Yeah, I do too. Sorry. And the structure will also act to block. Noise, but you know, visual of the pool from chapel side. Mm -hmm. It's a nice design. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, any comments on the council board observations? Okay, I'm going to move that we um, approve this design. Do we need comments from the public? This is a. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Right. I'll <laughs> second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody know? No. Thank you, board. 
You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. Mr. Williams? Yes. We are going to switch to 72 High Street. Next, because Anthony is 144, Jermaine, Sick Metal Art, and so we're going 72 High Street right now. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Sean Leonard, the architect for 72 High Street. I'm sorry, I'm a little. Didn't have oh, I'll see it. Mm. Proposed addition to the lodge. It's a start here. It's, the last one. it's number eight. Oh, that's why it's a five. Sorry, mm. number five. Yeah. It's just the garage now. Proposed addition to the garage. So, it's there. so this garage is in the backyard of the house. It's hardly visible from High Street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's kind of tucked behind the house. There's a picture that I took of the house that I can say. So the, the garage is almost directly back behind the house. This is the garage as it stands now. And on the right hand side of the garage is what we're looking to put in addition. Currently, there is a couple like bins, and she's got some sheds pieces there, all of that's to be removed so she could have the storage of this addition to the side of the garage. The garage itself is 14 feet wide. This addition will be 14 feet wide by 16 feet long. So the portions are the same of what the garage is so that the roof pitch will all match. It's a wood roof on the, on the garage now. There'll be a wood roof on the new addition. The cedar shingles that you see, the western red cedar shingles, uh, we also continue along on the addition of the garage. The trim will all be painted white. And so the, the language of the... I know, I know you call it a garage, but... It, it's not it really used a as a garage. garage. There's a, I know there's like a little deck. That, there's no way to get back to it. Even yeah, that door it. doesn't... I mean, that that's just it's windows. Not. It's not a door. That's it's not, actually a door that rolls it open. Does. It does. It was built yeah. as but a garage. It was, it's yes. It was but it was a garage. Maybe back in the right. day, somebody would be able to drive back there right. prior to the work that was done to the to the front house. Okay. I mean, there's no way to get back there. Well, in 94, when the inventory was updated of historic properties, because the house itself is a contributing dwelling right. in the historic district. Yeah. But, but the garage, garage which was listed as a garage, is considered a non-contributing structure on the property. Oh. So it is listed as a garage, but it is not a historical <laughs> building. So there's she has it good on the distinctions folder. there. Between... She has it on the folder. It says yeah. it right there. But presumably it functioned <laughs> as a garage. Back in '94, when it was listed as stuff, right, back from 30 years ago. So that's the garage door. I guess if somebody wanted to figure out how to get a car back there, you could ask the challenge. So just to be clear, this is a garage. There's no plumbing or electric. No plumbing. There's electric, I guess, but no plumbing. There is electric in there. Okay. Um. So you looks like it's oh, going to be sorry. an. AD, I'm sorry. It looks like it's going to could be an ADU, a very nice ADU, but. No. Okay. It's it, I guess it, the there's currently on the back side and on the side it, there's some sheds like little little and so they need some additional storage. So if I was to put this onto it, they'll give them the storage that they need, and then we can get rid of all of those little. So the addition is just going to mimic this. It's just going to be a kind of a twin. That's, that's correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Please go ahead. Um, you're going to pretty much double it in size, and. I gather is so the new part goes off the back, the side. Oh, off the side. Yes, off the side. side. The there now. we go. Okay. And it's back right here, so it it almost becomes an L. I see. Yeah. yeah okay. Yep. I I set it off so that this way, when the this part is coming off and the roof overhangs, the roof overhang doesn't protrude mm -hmm. back beyond the back of the building, so everything kind of lines up mm -hmm. quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any comments? Yeah. Uh, would anybody like to make this motion? Motion to approve um, 72 High Street. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
<laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we're going to go back. Mm -hmm. um, 144 Germain. Here he comes. It's the palms. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. It all of a sudden, like, started this morning. Yep. Went out to my car and everything was yellow. Yeah, we didn't yeah. know. <laughs> the next two weeks, right? And then it'll be gone. Have a white car. Yeah, so do I. Then the sap comes. Please help yourself. This is for the team. Do a phrase to the discussion. Yeah, it's just discussion. These these don't need Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Did you identify yourself, sir? Street. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here for 144 um, Jermaine Avenue. Uh, this is super simple. It's just the conversion of an existing um, garage into an ADU. Um, so it was at one point in time a two-car garage. It's been partially um, fixed up since then. But now with the new ADU law, they want to take it to the next step and um, just and convert it into an ADU. So the exterior changes are no changes to the footprint, no changes to the height, no changes to the exterior materials, but we do need to add a couple of egress windows for code and um, also replace an existing set of French doors with a new set of French doors because the old ones are kind of falling apart. And that's uh, that's it. All right, here we are. Yeah. So, yep. so nice little size for an ADU. How many square feet is it? Bathroom and sitting area. How many mm -hmm. square feet is it? It's um, it's well, let's say it's about twenty feet by twenty three feet, I think, twenty two feet. So it's a little over four hundred. Yeah, mm -hmm. right in the middle of what the um the code is for size of an ADU. Okay. We should also note that the house itself is a contributing building in the historic <laughs> district. The garage was listed in 94 on the inventory as a non-contributing structure. It was a right. modern building. So there's no you know, impact, historically speaking, in terms of uh, you got it. Great. This. So. I, I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Uh, actually, um, OK, that's fine. <laughs> She's whispering. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Next one. This is you too, Six Meadow Lark? This is Six Meadow Lark, yeah. He's closing out our night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Six Meadow Lark, um, this is a. Um, it's a historic district, but it's not a historic house. The house is maybe about um, 15 years old or so. Um, oh, yeah. it's, it's a big house. You probably have all seen it driving yeah. down yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, Long Island Avenue there. Uh, really, all this is is to um, reconfigure the <laughs> interior spaces a little bit uh, to make it work better for the um, homeowners. Right now on the second floor in the rear part of the rear roof wing, um, you can imagine there is a, a rear staircase that the home, homeowners rarely use, and there is a sort of a luxurious um, second floor laundry room with which the homeowners uh, is just too big for them. What they really, what the homeowners really want, are um, an elevator and a um, uh, a gym. Now, normally gyms go in the basement, but <laughs> here we don't. We have um, flood zone issues, so they don't have a basement. So the idea here is just really take the space of that uh, luxurious laundry room and the um, and the back staircase and put in an elevator and a um, uh, space for a gym. Mm -hmm. Also raising up that floor level so it's the same height as the rest of the second floor. Um, the exterior changes are really right now this um, big, this long rear wing of the house goes all the way back as sort of just a straight line penetrated by a few dormers. So what we're going to do is just pop out a little cross gable here, which we think kind of just helps break up that very mm -hmm. kind of plain facade. And that's okay. really the only exterior change. Same material, same color as everything that's existing. So, um, And that's the side that faces Metal Arc? Yeah, this is the side that faces Metal Arc. So it's, um, it's 
you know, it's a two front, uh, it's two, two yards. It's dead on the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be the that. back driveway of the neighborhood house. You know. um, <clears throat> okay. This house is on the corner, right? So basically this house just didn't have that little yeah, triangle? Yeah, just, just this little triangle thing there. So, and there's a lot of trees already blocked. I don't think you can even see that side of the house. I mean, technically, I don't want to talk myself out of an approval, but yeah, I mean, you, you can see the you can see a little bit of the yeah. that facade, but when it's I, not it's not the most prominent yeah. facade. When I initially looked at this, I you know I Google mapped like what does that house look like now, and it's not an updated picture, so I was like, what are we doing? Yeah. But yeah, I, you're right. Then I when did. you started talking, I was like, oh, that house has changed already. Yeah, it's a it's a brand new structure, and. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the Google Street View in Sac Harbor is like 2012 or something. Yeah. And this is post dates at. So, yeah. will they not be doing laundry? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a personal matter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she really us, wants uh, to get into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. She wants to come and, and bring the laundry to the laundry. <laughs> besides the, um, besides the, uh, um, underused laundry room on the second floor. There's also sort of an, a garage, which is too big to be, uh, is, is too big for a one car garage or too small for a two car garage. So that is just take a couple of feet out of that garage and that'll be the new laundry room, which will be a more normal scale for a laundry room. Right, okay. and, and not to mention a normal location for a laundry room. Right. Okay. okay, so I'll I'll make the motion for approval on six minutes. Zach, do you have any comment here? I just wanted to, uh, maybe I just heard you, Andy, but I think you, in your intro, you referenced that this is in the historic district Metal Warp is not. It isn't. Okay. It so is then not. maybe it isn't oh. even in the historic district. It is not right. in the historic district. Yeah. Just, okay. just to set the record side, so that, that might be confusing thought, in the future. Yeah, and yeah it's this not, is not uh, within the historic district. Anyway, okay. yes. Yeah. And it's not, we all know it's not, a, even if it was, it's not a historic house. Okay. Yeah. Point. All right. So, man, I'm going to second your motion. Thank you. What is it like? It, goes it cuts out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like this all ahead of it. because oh. those houses are all new on Meadow Lake. The yes, they're all starting to be yeah. changed over. Yeah. All in favor of of the motion as proposed? Aye. 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 Second. I did. Michelle. I think. Yeah. Any um, objections? And I think that concludes our business for the day. Well, we got no, no. 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 one discussion. discussion item. There you go. I'm two sorry. Two I two I two should two have two noticed two we had an audience here. I apologize to you. Okay. Are you okay? Anthony again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just a really, really good call. Yes, we have to thank Michael for getting the. Not like you're, that was like a relative of yours or whatever. Right. And that's, that's his son. I don't know him. Chris, when he's telling me he's having something delivered, I told him it's like a pharmacy <laughs> guy or something. Yeah, I'm looking at him. I don't know. What with the pharmacy? I thought he was going to be popping uh, 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 prescriptions. <laughs> uh, and they come in with Ricola. <laughs> <laughs> Like the horn's gonna blow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a discussion item. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So this is um two hundred three Madison Street. Um, this oh, is the yeah. house on the time corner there. The old time out, uh, Anthony. Duck shop. Duck shop. Did we reopen the discussion? No. Just discussion item. I don't need to make a motion. I just move. Only the public hearing. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay. Before zoning board of appeals and um, planning board. Okay. So we're here at the request of the um, zoning board of appeals as a discussion item. Um, so what we have here is the old. Uh, most of you know this is the old duck shop on the corner of mm -hmm. uh, Madison and Germain. This is the picture today. This is what it, that corner looked like up until the 1950s. This was the old Madison market. Um, mm -hmm. So it was original. a two-story building here. Um, little yes, gas awesome. pumps in the front. Wow. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and this sort of two-story building was added, we think, in like the 1890s, around 1890, um, to a um, one, uh, one and a half-story um, 
the 1840s or so um, um, dwelling. Uh, currently, it, the right. property is used as um, a two-family apartment and a one-story um, retail, um, one-story shop. Two-family, wow. So, um, the gas was still in the tank when they, the gas was still in the tanks underneath. I just think about yeah, uh, <laughs> it was right, and then they had to be taken away. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm sorry. Yeah, so no, it's a really an interesting thing. So apparently, in the 1950s, uh, this second story burn um, right. was just replaced with a flat roof. Um, you can hmm. still see there's actually the remains of the old staircase that went up to that second floor. Oh, yeah, um, it's actually pretty cool inside. Um, you can see the old oh, floorboards for the yeah. second floor, no. um, the, the burn marks and the burn beams. Mm. Um, yeah. you know, it, it almost took the second floor, the rest of the second floor, but I guess they stopped at the time. <laughs> so, really, they just kind of patched the building up. I right. uh, didn't bother to rebuild the second floor with the flat roof over there. Um, the house became two apartments. This stayed a store on the, on the ground level. Um, so the new Homer, she's here. Now. I'm here. There she is. Oh, there she is. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Um, I got welcome. So she owns a uh, gallery now. Uh, pretty much, you probably know her gallery on Main Street. Um, it's been there for about twenty years. Um, it's getting priced out by you know the new developers on Main Street. She <sighs> was able to purchase this property. The intent here is that she's going to move her gallery to this, mm -hmm. rebuild the second floor as an addition to her. Gallery and actually keep the um, the house as two as two apartments. Uh, fix it up and make it uh, two apartments. So that is the uh, you know, sort of the overall scope of the house. I mean, fortunately, because we have such an extensive historic re um, record of the what this building looked like, we can duplicate it basically exactly in size, even window locations and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, Carrie, can you uh, bring up the page? This is on the, the, the corner of Madison. This is actually reset. Jermaine, you know where the, you take the dog leg? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but in the original. They're, no, they're, it's going to be like the original. Right across from each other. Mm. Once you go, you know, the, and this is okay, the, okay, where, yeah, where yeah, the dust carver. I think right. it's, yeah. is it okay. set in or does it? There it is. It doesn't look that way in your picture. Yeah, so. So. The issue there is this mm -hmm. this all recedes in yep. to the building. It's right. Subsumed. Right. So you're glazed here, 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 but then that right. breaks into the door. That's right. See? Yep. So I couldn't see that. That's, that's yeah, fair. that's all yeah. recess a little okay. recessed corner. So that's that's that that corner still yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, this is what we're we're proposing to re reconstruct that um, second floor, um, same dimensions oh. as it was originally, um, same window distributing. Just distribution as originally, um, and you know, the, as I mentioned before, the um, front, um, the the house, the house portion of the one and a half story house will be um, renovated. Um, there's an existing one addition to the um, the existing house that we're uh, finding is a, is a side porch. Uh, if you could bring up um, a seven, please. Kind of a porch, not an understanding. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, so there's the um the I'm looking at him. The other right. two thanks, but um the other two elevations. Is that what's standing now? The rest of this that you're not building is already standing on yeah. the property. In yeah. fact, if you want to go to um you a don't even see it. A seven. A7. A7B. Well, we'll get started with A7B here. Um so that okay. is you can see the top there is the existing, um, and the bottom is the um, promotion. <clears throat> oh, so the bottom is oh, the I see, so you're just yep, adding yep. really the front. Yeah, so we're adding that second floor on top of the, um, the um, that one story shop. Like what was there originally? Which is, of course, yes. there originally. Yeah. That got burned down. So Judith yes. said this is the duck carvers, yeah. Yeah. duck uh, whatever. The decoy. Ecoy, thank you. Carvers, okay. That was Mr. Hans' shop, basically. But you so just I did, closed um, on this recently. I just saw a for sale sign on this about a month ago. ago. Really? It was really? Really? Well, yes. relatively recent. Yeah, I, I was I was actually looking at this building for 25 years. So okay. I've always Keep loved our eye on it. It's going to take your time. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a lot of time. So I did a little, um, I did an overlap of an existing building 
with the building that I want to recreate, which is identical. I want to do it identical. Everything goes there. I want to just recreate the second floor and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, nice. so I show you because that's only one copy of it. That's okay. So uh, it's good. Okay. Gotcha. All this exists. Yeah. Yeah, so you, can, you can't see it from Jamaica. So Anthony, a quick question on that back <laughs> extension that's running off to the left. Uh, why is Which there a gallery dark do you have on Main Street? That suggests that the roof pitch uh, changes yes. as it comes forward on the first floor. Is that just a okay? A, Oops, a, is that um, just a, what, what's that? You know, when you do this, it, you when you do the site visit, you'll see they did something very weird with the roof. So it actually at does. some point, yeah. Okay. Actually, because you're I don't wanna, you're exi no, I, yeah. I just, you're existing is just a plain white pitch. And I think that above. I think that heavy line that you're saying, yeah. I think that's just an artifact of how okay. the, the, the PDF came out. All right, because it, it makes so it look as if you're yeah. building it out no. and the pitch is changing. I just want to make sure that that's not the pitch is changing on the other side, on the interior side, and you'll see okay. when you know you'll you'll see why that what oh, that is. Okay, just just point of the clear clarity. Okay, good. All right. Oh. I think it makes sense. That's, yeah. it it's nice sense. that you're bringing it back. So, yeah. you know, we, we have to get some pretty significant variances for this, you know, which is kind of ironic because we're just reconstructing something that was originally there. No longer but, you know, it's, it's no because of the, mainly the pyramid law is the big one. And then also um, there is um, expanding. <laughs> I the, get it. Um, it's, it's actually technically not the GFA because it's not residential, but it's increasing the size of it of a mm -hmm. uh, non-conforming use the the um the the swap. How much are you increasing the size by? It's about seven hundred square feet or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's basically just the footprint of that. Um, yeah, second floor. But sticking within the envelope of what had been there before. Right. Exactly. Is a strong right. argument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enabling you to yeah. Yeah, and it's not like we're setting a precedence here. It's, um, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, outside of the, you know, there's actually a precedence for this, certainly in the in the village right. business district, but outside of the village business district, it's, it's, it's not like something where you have a one story that was once a two story. Yeah. I'd just like to say, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I, I attended the, there was a meeting today mm -hmm. at um, uh, Sage Hall at the new building, you know, the, at the school. Mm -hmm. And there were these young students from they're they're uh, doing their final uh, thesis, and they had four different plans on way to improve uh, the problems that we have here in Sac Harbor, and one of them was to branch out and put businesses outside of the main street. street. Mm -hmm. So That's this is yeah. like right, and and I I did. I raise my hand, speak about because 60 years ago, mm -hmm. there that, wasn't a definition. everywhere you looked, yeah. there was a grocery store. Yeah. yeah. And that was a grocery store. It was not, you know, like what's happening now, of course, but it was a full grocery right. store. With a butcher, too. There yeah. was some yeah. of the two of them had everywhere. butchers. And, yeah. and we just, and, you yeah. know, they that was one idea that they had, not only stores, but even restaurants. And mm -hmm. of course, there's gonna to have to be lots of changes in order yeah. for us to all, but I found that so interesting. And now here you are jumping right in. It's a right. great song. I just like to say, I mean, I love having grown up here, spent a lot of time here. I love to see things go back to the original. Mm -hmm. We very rarely see that. Mm -hmm. And I just, I think everybody has admired this building. It, I mean, it's right, it's, it, it cuts through Sag Harbor. So everybody's always wondered what goes on there, but to see what was originally there and for you to put something yeah. that is um, similar to that, I think it's really, it's nice to see that, that people go back. That whole corner Lovely. was, that whole corner yeah. was, that was Very a grocery active. store mm -hmm. across the street was, and then even the Rudishan house, the, I, don't, I can't remember who owns it now, but that was, a grocery, well. that yeah. was a grocery store mm -hmm. right there on that little corner, and you know, right. Madison and Jermaine, the and then the bakery. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, it's so interesting. How about bringing back the gas pumps? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah. Then there would be an electric charger. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So I already have like you know the the uh, the health department. I already have the approvals from them. Um, I just need. I mean, we need from zoning board of appeals and finance board. Yeah. 
Planning board is going to be mostly parking, but we're actually going to improve the parking situation there. How are you going to do that? It's actually, it's actually a big yeah. size. It's a, it's yeah. a decent size property. Backyard. Um, surprisingly really? enough, there's big, yep. because mm -hmm. the building is right on the corner. Right. There's like a huge yard. yard so there's, yeah. uh, I think we can get like 11 parking spots. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Two out of nine. Nice. Two nine. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, all that's amazing. A any comments? Tell the zoning board to give you all the variances. Okay. We're looking Thank forward. You. Can we quote you on that? Yes, yes, you may. We look okay. forward. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you. Uh, Great. Thanks. Thank you very all right. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck. Okay. Thank Is there any other business? There being no other business in front of this board, I'd like to get a motion to uh, end the meeting. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Anybody want one? Michelle, you want a couple?